Okay, I made it to the top of Silver Star Mountain. It is currently February 10th. Uh, this is the middle of our winter here, and usually there should be about probably five more feet of snow up here, but uh, it was almost, I think the summit was clear of snow last week because it's been a weird El Nino year, and uh, we just haven't been getting good snowpack. But uh, it did snow about probably a foot over the last week. So there's um, more snow up here. I'm really glad I brought my snowshoes. Uh, that was the right decision. So um, I should have a clear shot into the Portland area here on VHF, um, but I am gonna set up my HF radio. And uh, I brought the uh, nicer fiberglass mast for, I don't know, reasons. I don't really need it. So I've been playing around with 49 to 1 ununs, the matching units that you put at the end of an end-fed half wave, just to kind of see what works best. So I have uh, one that I've that I built that I'm experimenting with today. It uses a really teeny tiny uh, core that is longer than the, the length of the core is longer than the aperture and it's supposed to be really efficient like my calculations with it using two identical ones back to back gave me an efficiency of about 90 percent across the board which is pretty darn good it's actually better than you would get at the end of 30 feet of coax if you're running a linked dipole which i would consider a linked dipole to be kind of like the benchmark of an antenna for portable operation so this is the uh 49 to 1 that I'm testing out. It does not need to be in a box this large. This is just the project enclosure that I had. And uh, I have a 3D, I actually do have a 3D printer coming in the mail. And I have an enclosure designed for this. It'll be smaller once I just, once I feel like this works well. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm opening it up in my hand right now and kind of show you what's in here. So as you can see, it's a very, very small core. Um, well, you might not be able to see that. I'm in the shadows there. Okay, there you go. It's a very little core. It's not taking up very much of the case there. And you can see the little silver mica cap. Um, the key to making that unun work, and let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about this unun, uh, because it's so small, so efficient. Anyway, um, is there's a way of winding this uh, because I got the idea of using I got the idea of using this core. Uh, off of that infamous, not infamous, famous, I don't know, everybody's seen it, the really long PowerPoint that shows how to wind these things. But um, he talks about this core at the end, but what he didn't talk about is that you can't wind it the same way as you wind the other cores in his, uh, in the, uh, um, in the uh, tutorial in that PowerPoint. You, the, the crossover winding uh, and the, the twisted primary and crossover winding doesn't work for this. Uh, so you actually just have to wind them. It, it's not complicated. You just have to wind all the t all the turns and then tap one of the coils and then it works great. So that was the secret for me getting this thing to actually behave itself. So it's a really good QRP on it. It's super duper light, you know, and every ounce is add up to pounds, right? So anyway, let's get this radio this situation set up. Something else I changed too is I've got, I usually carry a guy line and I still have a guy line for my uh, mast, but I have the end fed half wave and the guy line both wound up on the same, I cut a guy line to what I think is the right length, um, about 10 meters. And then I have them both on the same, uh, on the same kite winder. So hopefully it's just one more thing to, you know, minimize the amount of stuff that I'm carrying. Another reason I'm pleased I wore snowshoes is I'm not post holing while I'm trying to set up the antenna. I can't tell you how that, much that helps. Okay, so I'm all set up. Um, got the KX2 right here, I have the, uh, aforementioned unun sitting right there uh, and you can just hang it off the banana plug i love these this type of banana plug because it functions both as a banana plug and as a screw terminal as a binding post i have the mast over here uh, supported by the three guy lines or, you know two of the guy lines being the antenna wires themselves and then i have a bag of snow over there holding out holding down the other end and then i use the wire winder just jammed into the snow as the third anchor point and it's going to work really well because it's not windy up here now if we're if we're windy i don't know we might be in more trouble
Summit to Summit, go ahead. Kilo 7 Alpha Golf Lima. Kilo 7 Alpha Golf Lima from Whiskey 7 Whiskey. Lima Charlie 141. I got Kilo 7 Alpha Golf Lima from Lima Charlie 141. QSL? QSL, QSL. Your signal is 59. Copy that, and you are also a 59 down here on Silver Star. Thanks for the Summit to Summit. Oh, Silver Star, we're clear. I saw the, the, the spot come up. I have really spotty uh, uh, cell phone service because all of a sudden I got a bunch of updates coming through. So I saw yours, and I'm glad I got you before the last 40 meters. So um, have a great activation. Take care. Yeah, absolutely. Glad you got me. Thanks in 7 3. I got Juliet Hotel One, Mike X Ray Victoria. You are a 5353. Copy the 43. Copy 43. Copy 43. You are 545454. Over. Thanks in 7-3, Kilo Delta 7, Quebec Oscar Whiskey CQ Soda. Uh, there was one ending, there's one that had Lima in it. Try again. Zulu Lima 1 Hotel Mike, QSL. Zulu Lima 1, uh, okay, Zulu Lima 1, Tokyo, Mike. Zulu Lima 1, Tango, Mike. QSL? Copy the 42, you are a 3x1, 3x1, 3x1. QSL? Thanks for the chase from New Zealand in 7-3. Kilo Delta 7, Quebec Oscar Whiskey CQ Soda. Japan Victor 1, Victoria Victoria Honolulu, QSL. All right, for Japan America 1, Victoria, Victoria, Honolulu, I have you as a 4-2, QSL. Thank you, and 7-3, Kilo Delta 7, Quebec Oscar Whiskey, CQ Soda. November 7, India, India, Oscar. Hi there, Dad. I got you a 5-9 up here on Silver Star. So not quite full quieting up there. Okay, um, I was wondering if you were, if, may, I, I, was wondering, I might have you kind of in a shadow down there. So you say you can, you can hear me okay? Yes, you are full quieting, full quieting. Yeah, you're not, you're, there's a lot of static in, in your call. Okay, summit to summit, thanks for your patience, go ahead. <laughs> nice work. Uh, what summit are you on? Thank goodness I didn't need to chainsaw my way up this one, man. The other, the other side is crazy. They're, they're just across the valley from each other, so uh, this one was a drive up. I'm on Baird Mountain, Whiskey 7 Whiskey, Lima Charlie 127. I got, all right, I got Whiskey 7 Whiskey slash Lima Charlie 127, and sounds like you had quite the uh, bushwhack getting up there. Is that correct? Well, no, not this one, but the last one. Uh, what's the designator for Silver Star? It's LC what? 
Uh, it is LC058, LC058, over. Okay, I got 058 in, in both of them. So two summit to summit, that's good. Um, so four points for you, four points for me, but I had to get two summits for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, awesome. Thanks for uh, putting all the work into bushwhacking up there and uh, glad I got you. I've got like tons of people in the log. I've got 37 in the log. How are you doing today? Multiple summits, I didn't, you know, I, I could have kept going, but I'm like, you know, I gotta move on. Um, so you're five nine, by the way. Yeah, you're also five nine, and uh, I also got a, I got a uh, chase on 15 meters from New Zealand and two from Japan. So 15 is worth a try today. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, it's been a day of equipment breaking on me, so uh, I'm glad to have made it through it. But uh, you know, it's been like whittling and, and splicing wires and like. Luckily, I had a second antenna. My vertical fell over and the mount broke. And oh man, crazy day! But I'm um, glad to get you summit to summit. Um, I think your I think your brother was coming on, so I'll stop here. Uh, when you're done, I'll go ahead and spot here um, and see if I can get Bill um, on this frequency as well from Beaverton. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'll see if um I'll get uh, catch the other group there and then. Uh, and then yeah all right sounds good thank you for the summit to summit and i'm also going to give a qrz just in case there's anybody out there any other chasers kd7 qow cq soda kilo seven golf yankee bravo again i say kilo seven golf yankee bravo summit to summit yeah kilo seven golf yankee bravo summit to summit go ahead yeah my exchange is i'm on whiskey seven whiskey Okay, I've got you Whiskey 7 Whiskey uh, Sierra Kilo 132 all the way up there in Skagit County. Um, my goodness, that is that is some DX for VHF. My goodness. Yeah, I've got you at about a 5.5, five, 5.5 five, five, five down here. Over. Okay, I just tuned in, so I don't know where down here is. Oh, sorry about that. Down here is Silver Star Mountain in southwest Washington. I'm in Clark County. Whiskey 7 Whiskey Stroke Lima Charlie dash 058. Whiskey 7 Whiskey Stroke Lima Charlie dash 058. Over. Okay, I copy. Whiskey 7 Whiskey Stroke Lima Charlie TAC 058. QSL, QSL. Okay, very good. I'm running half a lot with a log periodic. Again, my elevation is uh, 1,317 meters. And 7IIO. I guess I'm about uh, 20 miles. Kilo Kilo 7, Oscar Victor Foxtrot calling Summit. 18 miles. Uh, I don't know, if you're Mount, know where Mount Vernon is, but um, I'm kind of like North Puget Sound. And um, uh, log periodic. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, good job, and uh, you said Star Mountain, and I'll go ahead and put it in a lot. Do you have a, the, the time, please? You're my first contact. Yeah, Kilo 7 Golf Yankee Bravo, you are, um, so you're making quite a trip. You've probably, we're about 150 miles apart. Um, you are a 5-2, you're a 5-2. Um, it's 2.17 p.m. Uh, I don't have the uh, the UTC time, but it's 2.17 p.m. And I am at about 4,000 feet above sea level. So that's about, probably about 1,200 meters above sea level here on Silver Star Mountain, Silver Star Mountain, over. Okay, very good. Well, I heard another and I think you're going to make another contact with them, so I'll go ahead and drop and stand by if anybody else wants to make a contact with Kilo 7 Golf Yankee Bravo. 7-3, great contact, uh, and uh, it's great, those long-distance, low-power stuff, nothing like it. Kilo 7 Golf Yankee Bravo, clear, and I'm sorry, your call sign. Uh, Kilo Delta 7 Quebec Oscar Whiskey. It was Kilo Delta 7 Quebec Oscar Whiskey, and thanks, and 7-3. All right, well, that was a success. We have 39 QSOs in the log total. Um, so can't complain about that. Uh, 15 meters was really alive today. I even got three contacts on 10 meters, but I have a uh, QSO with New Zealand. I think that's a new country for me on, su no wait, that's the second time I've hit, hit New Zealand on summits on the air. And then this is, and then I have two QSOs with Japan. Um, I've worked those call signs before, but excellent. 
Uh, it was, I'm really glad it was sunny up here because otherwise I'd be much colder than I am right now. It is unusually calm up here, but uh, it's time for me to pack up and head home. This worked out really well. Uh, I would say that the, uh, the uh, new Anun worked quite well too. Um, it certainly didn't not work. So uh, I'm gonna call that one a success and then I'm, it's ready to be packaged up in a nicer looking package. So with that, I'm gonna start heading down the mountain. I'll say 7-3, get out there, go play with your radios.